Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about the untethered jailbreak for 4.2 and 4.2.1. Now I'm making this video because yesterday when I released my Christmas announcement, I told you guys that I would. So it is not ready at this time, and it is currently in the beta stages, and it only works for Mac users. So their website is right here, and as you can see, it says that it's in beta testing. And there are some issues with this, and I strongly recommend that you guys do not download it. So, uh, as you can see right here, the known issues are as follows. The task switcher causes the springboard to crash, and you can work around that by using SB settings to tell you which processes you have running and to exit out of them. However, you cannot just switch between applications because it will cause your springboard to crash. And the iPod player only works for the iPod Touch fourth generation at this moment, so that means it does not work for the iPhone 4 or the iPad. And it also says that Bluetooth is currently disabled due to a sandbox problem. So I strongly recommend that you guys stay away from this until it is made public and I release a video on it Now I'm gonna be right on it the reason why I wasn't right on this release is because I was actually away from town for the day and I was up in the mountains so I do apologize for that but I needed to take a day off for this you're gonna to have to have your 4.2 beta 3 SHSH files backed up in order to do that you guys can watch my video on that there should be an annotation on the screen right now that'll take you to the video to back up your 4.2 beta to three SHSH files and that will also be in the more info. You will also need to download a 4.2 beta 3 IPSW so basically that's just the firmware and developers were the only ones who were allowed access to it however I found a website that actually has some files and it has some links to the beta 3 firmwares so you can get any single one here you can get the iPad iPhone 4 or the iPod touch fourth generation right there or actually any beta 3 firmware so you guys can just go to any of the download links uh, the only ones that really work are the deposit files and the mega upload ones so just make sure you go to those and download it and you're gonna need those to do it so I'm not actually gonna make an instructional video on how to do this and that's mainly because I told you guys I strongly recommend against this and against doing it and I highly recommend waiting. Now, if you guys want to download the beta version, all you have to do is come to my website. I will have a link to this in the more info below, and you just click on the Red Snow Beta, which is right here, and it will take you to a link to download. So that's all you have to do. You guys just have to click download, and you will be able to do it. Now, if you guys want actual instructions on how to do it, I will have a link to a Redmond Pi post, and you guys can follow the instructions there. But again, you guys should definitely heed my warning I recommend staying away from this I will make a video when all the bugs are worked out and when everything is fine and it is okay to proceed and it works hundred percent and there aren't any issues like uh, with the task switcher or with the iPod application so just make sure to subscribe to me if you guys want to be updated when the actual jailbreak and the real thing is released and it doesn't have any more bugs so just subscribe like I said comment on this video and also rate it up this is ICU signing out